Good day, sir. Welcome to Faro, Portugal. This year is the heavily updated 6th generation BMW 7 Series. They now call it the 7. Shall we begin? When the first official photographs came around on the internet, memes were flying around and making fun of the grill. Yeah, it's funny, but when you stand right next to this thing, it is actually very good looking with a new grille. This particular car is the 750LI, the long wheelbase V8 variant. It comes in Bonino grey. Under the sun, it has this sparkly amber effect. Now let's jump straight into the big grill. This single piece kidney grill is now 40% larger than before and is accompanied by this larger emblem as well. It used to be 82mm, it is now 95mm in diameter. The entire front end is now 50mm taller so it gives it more presence. The headlights are now new, sleek and sharp looking. This one has got the BMW laser light technology. It's able to shine the road like 560 meters ahead of you. The bumper is new as well, it's got no fog lights now. It even looks futuristic now with these air blades that directs air around the wheel creating an air curtain effect. Now from the side, it actually does look like those ultra-modern power boat with the straight and strong shoulder line. Punctuated and made stronger by this chrome strip from the air breather all the way to the back. And this air breather now is more upright, it's 90 degrees upright. Moving on, the Hofmeister King is more pronounced than a lot of new beamers nowadays, so it is still there. Around the back, it has got this new light bar that runs across the rear, which is the first for a BMW. And it has got this chrome strip that follows as well, which is thinner than before. The taillights are slimmer as well, 35mm slimmer, with this L-shaped three-dimensional design. It looks really great. The lower bumper has got this larger chrome casing for the exhaust tailpipes. BMW has done a lot for an updated version of this 7 Series. Let us know what you think, leave a comment down below, and now we shall check the interior. So the interior is largely the same as before. You get this very nice, luxurious ambience in here. The steering wheel looks pretty much similar as before, except for the steering wheel function buttons here and there. Then you get this all new, very beautiful digital meter cluster. They have gone for a more unconventional way of designing the dials. On the left, it is the speedometer. And on the right, it is an anti-clockwise going ref counter. And in the middle, all your stats and stuff. Moving in the center, you get this beautiful looking BMW Live Cockpit Professional display with the latest BMW 7.0 OS and the graphics, I have to tell you, looks really good. You can interact with it using touchscreen, air gesture, you can control it using the iDrive controller over here and also at the same time, voice command as well. And what's interesting with these voice commands is you can call it up by using Hey BMW, Hi BMW or Hello BMW and you can actually change the word BMW to something else. So you can do Hello darling or Hi GC um, or even Hey Mercedes or Hi Proton whatever you like, you can do that So moving down below here, this looks very familiar and down here you get wireless charging, cup holders and very familiar looking rocker style shifter they are all pretty much the same The leather seats here are very comfortable it is Napa leather with extended quilting so it is very luxurious looking now, if you own a car like this, you probably have a driver, so you'll be more interested with the rear seat slope. Let's do that. Ah, as you can see, it is very comfortable and spacious back here, and it's light up nicely with this large panoramic sunroof, so you get this very airy feel back here. Everything feels very luxurious in here. You get this 10-inch rear infotainment system, which you can control using touch, or you can actually use this this removable tablet yep to control the screen over here you can even control the sunroof with the press of a button and it goes that way you can even control the sunscreen as well that's very nice and by the way the infotainment system comes with blu-ray system as well i'm not sure who uses blu-ray anymore but yep it is there for you to use now what's also interesting is this comes with Aeroplane-like table for the boss. Yeah, speaking of which, I'm sitting on the wrong side of the seat. So I should be here, by the way. And the seat controllers are over here. You get Bowers and Wilkins as the optional audio system. And the roof lining itself looks very expensive. It's a suede Alcantara-like material. Yeah, this is where you want to be, there, as a boss. <sighs> Thank you. 
So the big daddy of the 7 has to be the 760LI powered by a V12 engine. This one is the big mama. Underneath the hood is the 4.4 V8 engine paired together with the 8-speed automatic gearbox. It produces 530 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque. It gets from 0 to 100 in just 4 seconds. 4. Really? In this thing? So it comes with X-Try system as well, so it gives you that extra reassurance when you're on the road. Starting up the engine itself kind of gives you the excitement because it has that subtle gear rumble. Well, I say that because we don't get that in Malaysia. In fact, we will never get this in Malaysia. We will get the 745 Li though, plug-in hybrid, which we will test later on. So, how does this drive? Recently, I drove the facelifted S-Class, the S560L in, back in Malaysia and that sort of able to give me that sense of tranquility, a very peaceful kind of drive. So it is very relaxing whether you are on the driver seat or right at the back as the boss. This one though, it lacks a little in terms of tranquility. It is very comfortable, it's very relaxing but that part of tranquility may not be there but it gains in terms of driving pleasure. So BMW focused quite a lot on driving performance. So this car is able to give you that driving pleasure that you need during your weekend drive. Of course, those who are able to own such a car, those who are looking to own such a car will probably have a driver for their daily drive already. But this is able to allow you to take it for a weekend drive with your family and still enjoy it. So BMW said that they have improved their suspension. This runs on air suspension with adaptive damper. So they have improved it, they have tweaked it a bit to be able to make the car a bit more capable, a bit more planted on the road, which really it shows. I was on the highway in Portugal, in Faro. I did 210 kilometers per hour. Yeah, and my passenger, George from the Star, sitting at the back like a boss, never even realized he was going at more than 200 kilometers per hour. Yeah, so it's that good. And by the way, this car weighs less than 2 tons, 1,950 kilograms to be exact, thanks to the carbon core structure. And it also has rear wheel steer. So basically, it doesn't feel like you're driving a mansion. Speaking of mansion, it's about time I try the boss seat at the back and see how it's like. This is a nice place to be in. So it feels very luxurious and premium back here. This is a long wheel base version. You have 140 mm extra leg room in here, which is great as you can see. It is really airy and spacious back here. It can get even more area by doing this. Through this tablet over here, I can just go on to the sun protection feature and just open up the sunroof. Yeah, gets even brighter with that. So what BMW has done is to enhance the riding experience back here which is by adding the thickness of the side window to reduce the noise from outside and at the same time they have enhanced the sound insulation as well through the B-pillar and the rear wheel arches so it is very quiet and peaceful back here. But what's missing back here is the executive lounge feature which you can option in. What it does is it moves the front seat all the way to the front and it has got a footrest for you as well where you can have like a business class flight in your car. That would be nice, but not in this car. Okay, now we are in the 745 LE, the plug-in hybrid version. As compared to the one we have back in Malaysia, the current one, which is the 740 LE, this one has got a brand new powertrain. It runs on a six-cylinder, three-liter petrol engine paired with a electric motor, of course. It makes 394 horsepower and 600 newton meters of torque. So why the change from four-cylinder to six-cylinder? So according to BMW, their customers would like to have a more smoother startup, a more powerful petrol engine instead of a four-cylinder they have now gone up to six cylinder. So I do realize why they didn't start that from the beginning, right? So they have done it, so well done. In fact, they have removed all the four cylinders from the global lineup, except for China. So China still have the 730i for four cylinder due to pricing and taxing issues. Oh, and by the way, 
I almost forgot. We found out that apparently our plug-in hybrid D745LE, which will be coming to Malaysia, will remain to be named as 740LE. I'm not sure how true, we'll just wait for that to come to Malaysia. So in terms of exterior, this car looks pretty much similar to the 750LI, except for the M Sport package that's all around, which is the front bumper is different, the rear bumper is different, even the rims as well. On the inside, well, the first thing you notice, the leather is different. This is merino leather and it is under the BMW individual personalized tailor-made material. It looks beautiful. Now, what else is different here is the digital meter cluster. It's got a blue theme that goes with the e-drive system. On the center display as well, the BMW Live Cockpit Professional. And also down here on the driving modes, in the 750Li, you get Eco Pro, Adaptive, Comfort and Sport. While here, you get Electric, Hybrid, Sport and Adaptive. You also get the battery saving mode as well. And I forgot to mention in the 750Li, there's the lifter function as well. You can lift the car as high as an additional 20 millimeters for rough terrain or going up a ramp, stuff like that. So with the electric mode, you are basically running on electric motor only by itself, and you can go up to 140 kilometers per hour. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Well, in terms of electric range, you can go up to 54 kilometers as compared to 41 as before. This is because of the new e-drive system and also a new set of battery pack that allow it to go a bit further than before. So in terms of the drive, well, on electric mode, it is very quiet, of course, and it's very smooth. It's buttery smooth. When you go on hybrid mode, when the petrol engine kicks in, it's, 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 it's almost seamless. Possibly because of the four-cylinder and the six-cylinder thing that's going on here. So the engine startup is a lot smoother in this car. The, the, the transition between the electric motor into the petrol engine is much seamless. So it's a good thing that they have moved from four-cylinder to six-cylinder. So we the, the driving route for this 745 LE is just around this neighborhood. So we can't really, you know, go for it in terms of testing the power. So, but for city driving this way, it is pretty impressive, very comfortable. But one thing that I've missed out in the 750LI, I would want to say this. I did mention that the car lacks tranquility as compared to the S560L. I think it's because of the seats. The seats, they all look great with the extended quilting design, the color and all that. But I think in general, BMW's leather is slightly on the harder side and it is not as plush and as, as soft as the S-Class. So how do I sum this up, the new BMW 7 Series? For someone who is able to afford such a car, they probably will want to see their car rolled up in front of them at the lobby hotel looking, oh, look at me, I've made it in life. Yes, and this car has that vibe. It is a very capable boss machine. You have a chauffeur to drive you around every day and during the weekend, pick up your kids and your wife and go for a weekend drive. Enjoy it in style. That's all for now from Faro, Portugal and ciao.